I'm Sarah Richardson. This is Sharon. These are the bedrooms in Sharon's Century Stone Cottage. And this is what those rooms look like now, thanks to some help from Design Inc. Sharon is in the thick of renovating an 1870s stone cottage in the country. She's already completed an addition which contains a new kitchen, living and dining areas. The original wing has been converted to bedrooms and bathrooms. Tanya and I have been by Sharon's side throughout the entire building process and now it's time to help her with the pretty stuff. This looks great. Sharon's contractor Ziggy is also happy to get this major project down to the details. We are ready for the start. It's a pretty huh? beautiful piece. It's beautiful. Uh, okay, so we have to fill in this gap. So we're going to end up with about 10 inches with the character of a country, oh, rustic, old, antique country mantle. It wouldn't have been installed with beautiful slabs of stone. It would have had a tile surround or a brick surround. I think doing something that has more texture and feels a bit more casual rather than a really sleek stone. Okay, so we'll get a couple samples of that, but I love this. What do you think about the finish? Do you want to see it painted or stained, or do you like the way it's looking as it is? Well, that's what I was wondering. Yeah. Um, I kind of like it the way it is. I kind of like it the way it is, too. Now to the master bath and the tiling job we've already started. I love the coloring. Mm -hmm. So we've got the, the smaller ones on the floor, again, the three by six on the wall, and then we just have to choose something here for the thresholds, right? Yes. Okay. Here. Our challenges? Sharon's place has been a 25-year dream, so everything's got to be just right. Being in the country means a lot of trekking back and forth for us. And organization is key. Each room will be color-coded for easy weekend living. Green, blue, and yellow. As for the guest bathroom, that's neutral territory. Because the way that the tiles have been manufactured, they're a little shy of two inches, which was our calculation. Okay. Which is standard, like it happens. Yeah. So we're gonna have a tiny little strip and we just have to decide because one tile has to be cut. So, so it's basically we're gonna have one tile that's gonna be a sliver. Yeah. So why don't we make it the center tile Okay. as just a little, so kind of like a little wafer. Okay, so the bathroom tiling seems to be working out and colors going on the walls. Tanya's been working on the project with me since the get-go, so it makes sense that she stay with it. And so begins the search for salvaged and repurposed furnishings that will give Sharon's bedrooms instant aged appeal. We need four sconces, mm -hmm. and then you'd have just a nice little reflective backplate on it? Yeah. Okay, let's show her those. Okay. Toy storage box? Nice stuff, but I have a feeling we haven't seen everything. Yeah, can I? Tan, I'm going down the basement. <laughs> Look at all they built stuff down here. No. Right. Okay, is this piece available? Or yes. It is? Yes. Yeah. I need something like this. See, Tan, if you come down to the basement, you just might find what you're looking for. Oh, perfect. And it's not so that deep. an old window. That is an old window, and the sides are made out of old doors. Oh. Yeah, now that could be perfect in, in the guest bathroom. Into the basement. Success. A couple of major pieces crossed off our list. But that's just the beginning. What other trouble can Tanya and I get ourselves into? Hey, why is everything expensive today? Well, because you're Because I'm here. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, outdoor shower? Roy, that sink. Yeah, but it's got faucets on two sides, so can you make that so it all comes at the center? Wouldn't these make good beds? Excuse me, this is pretty, whoa. One man's trash, whoa. another man's okay. treasure. Well done. <laughs> oh! 120 bucks. This place has got lots of great stuff. We love Roy. We love Roy. Thanks, Roy. Not bad so far. These doors could make a nice headboard, and the basement find could be perfect for the master bath. 
because we've got so many different pieces, yeah. we need to do an inventory of everything we've bought, everything we've found. Okay, but when is it ever smooth sailing? That looks just terrible. Well, you don't I am like not to keep happy with that. <laughs> Back at Sharon's, where each room has been painted its own distinctive color. I like the way this hall color turned out. Mm -hmm. Really After nice. four different choices that day, it certainly ended up with the right one. While it looks like a lot has been done, we're still just out of the starting gate. So, guest bedroom one. I call this the yellow room. The yellow room, it's a good thing to call it. Okay, so this is going to have a queen size bed coming out from the far wall, mm -hmm. surrounded by all these adorable little windows. They look like little, little windows that have fallen from the sky. We need two bedside tables. If possible, it would be great to sneak a little bench just along this wall here. Look at this, the yellow room is so perfectly named the yellow room. Look, it's filled with buttercups. So pretty. And a pile of rubble. <laughs> Each room has its own unique color scheme, but all share a few common niceties. On the entry wall, in each of these bedrooms, do a hook board that runs the full length. And ceiling fixture. Uh, and definitely we need something more country and charming than that. So a cute little ceiling fixture in each of these rooms. Okay, how's this bathroom? Oh my gosh. The tile looks fantastic. <gasps> I love it. I mean, that's the thing with a small bathroom like this, you might as well just tile all the walls. Because that way, if the kids splash everywhere, Doesn't matter. it won't be a problem. Now, what about Sharon's master bedroom? This green is perfect. Okay, so we have king size bed coming out here. Mm -hmm. With a, um, a headboard. headboard. Upholstered headboard. Mm -hmm. We've got a beautiful quilt going mm -hmm. on it. Yep. Um, then we're going to have a chair over here in the corner. Mm -hmm. Where and how are we going to find and keep tabs on all this stuff? We need to do an inventory of everything we've bought, everything we've found, take photographs of it, assign what room it's going to, and then we can lay it out. Because yep. the last thing we want is to do a whole bunch of trips up here and find out that we've missed something. And the fireplace, they're just going to do a light sanding and then coat it in some urethane. OK, now I want to see the master bathroom. Okay. I want to see it. And here's where the tour bus hits a bit of a bump. Okay, that's a problem. Yeah. The back plate on the sink is bumping right into the chair rail. And I would say that now that the chair rail has been done, yes. what we're going to have to look at instead is we're going to have to change this sink From to this. The... There's two styles of this yes. sink available. One of them has this backsplash, and the other one is flush. On the upside of things, the hardware is lovely. That's beautiful. Really, really nice. Right. This cannot be here. This is entirely the wrong place for this plug. This plug should be over on this side. It can't be right above. That looks just terrible. Well, you don't I like am to not happy with that. Like I said, nothing ever goes off without a hitch, but we've got to move forward. Now it's on to rugs for four different bedrooms. See, I like these. Yeah. You like these? Uh huh. And you can do a nice there, twill border. Yeah. Sharon, how about this? I like that one, too. And these are broadloom, are they? Yes, this is broadloom. So the advantage here is it's 12 feet wide. So what we'd be looking at is a 10 by 12. I mean, the nice thing about going to this format, it's easy for you because you've got a fairly standard size room. But in other spaces, you can get any length that you want. In the boys' room, we have one that we bought at Flamborough. So that's an original um, rag rug. Mm -hmm. We have another rag rug that we could potentially sew to get. We'll decide on what we want to do with that. Whether it goes with the buttons. master, if we wanted to do that chenille type, I think that that's quite different than this. Like it's got a different look. And then we've got the two other bedrooms that we can decide. That is kicked. While at an outdoor antiques market with Sharon on a sunny Saturday, we also scooped up a side table for one of the bedrooms along with the carpets Tanya's talking about. As we sort out the furniture, we've also got to keep a handle on the color schemes for four separate rooms. We've got some good pieces that we've found, but we need to wrap this up. Right. It's a long list. 
The bathrooms have to be done to spec. Absolutely everything we found for Sharon's has to be on the truck. We only want to make one trip, if possible. So we've got a different vintage light fixture for every room. Do we have one for the boys' room yet? A tall order. This one and this one. Here, here. This just a few well-placed phone calls and our sink is where it should be. Now to lock in individual color schemes for each of Sharon's bedrooms. Let's talk about the master bedroom. What have we got happening there so far? Uh, well, we basically just have a sage type of quilt. So that is a pillow sham that she's chosen. Okay. So far. To me, this is feeling very green. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we need to get some pattern happening in here. So mm -hmm. whether it's that we introduce, you know, something like this mm -hmm. that has a little bit of a green but some softer tones in it. I think this is a possibility. Okay. I guess right now for me, this room is lacking the kind of the layering, the softness, mm -hmm. the interest. Right. I think this is a, a starting point okay. for this room, but I don't think we're there yet. Yeah. What about the yellow room? Okay, now that's the yellow room. I thought that was the green room. Are you confused yet? Something a bit. It would be nice if one room was sort of yellow, soft, floral, and check. And the other one was blue Blues. and soft green. stripes. Mm -hmm. And then the green room had, so that each room not only, I don't want it to feel like it's just another color rendition of the exact same scheme. Mm -hmm. Let's take the green I think out. No green is allowed in the kids' bedroom. And so we'll Let's have that just blues. Yellow. That's looking a lot better. Let's have just greens in the green room. Even that's looking better. That's cute. You know, something really fun. And then let's have just soft colors. Very, 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 very soft yellows in the yellow room. In there. I think what we have to do is take these schemes and really start building on them mm -hmm. and develop the theme, find the fabrics. We've got some good pieces that we've found, but we need to wrap this up. Right. Okay, so first we need more fabrics. That's an easy one. Uh oh! I just. <laughs> Sorry, it's a large banana just fell on the ground. Easier said than done. I can't believe how beautiful that is. Oh, deal. Oh, Rita. Hey, it's stunning. Awesome. That's one problem beat. Tanya and I have crisscrossed the city looking for anything and everything that has an instant been there forever appeal for Sharon's bedrooms. We've even hit the country antiques markets. You know what? We've got so much stuff that it makes sense to have one final go through before carting it all an hour and a half to the house. So this is our light fixture. Which is so cute. And then, which yeah. I love. But I'm not 100% on the brown. Do you think we could like, Touch this with a well, should we white. have another chandelier that she would also like to have some of the orange taken out of it? Who's gonna do that? Well, I don't. We could do it, can't we? So, what time are you doing that at? So, we've got a different vintage light fixture for every room. Do we have yes. one for the boys' room yet? Yes, we have a star fixture. Oh, great. Yeah, nice star. This will be great. Perfect okay. for them. Perfect. So it's all coming down to the wire. Tanya's back at Sharon's, making sure that everything's set up and ready to go. And so we decided to go with something a little more fun and whimsical in this room. And so that, we'll just hang up there. She'll look great. We've got this fantastic chandelier. And it's a great green color, and I think it complements the walls perfectly. Oh, those are going to look great. Perfect. OK, so we're all set for the load-in. Of course, it's all going to go as smooth as silk. So it only took four women two hours to put together two bunk beds. beds. Will Sharon's country casual bedrooms mean sweet dreams for all? Constructions. Or will we all need a day at the spa when it's all done? Yeah. Now it's time for the entire designing team to go out to Sharon's to make it all happen. The entire team, except for Tanya, who just gave birth and won't be joining us on this voyage. Good timing with four bedrooms and two bathrooms to finish. 
we can do it as a team effort to kind of put one room together at a time. We have all the bed frames that have to be assembled. And then uh, while Peter's hanging drapes, we'll sort of go from one room to the next. We've got to dress the bathrooms. I think it looks great. Look at that. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, were they, were they expensive? Yeah. I feel like I want to steal a whole bunch of ideas from this house. Oh, yeah? Oh, like? I love the paint colors. Yeah. I love all the V-Groove stuff. Yeah. I love the lamps. Yeah. I love... Um, well, if you're lucky, you might be able to get the same designer. Can we get the same designer? Do I don't this? know. She's pretty busy these days. <laughs> you know what? If you use sort of a dry brush technique, I'll just sort of soften up the yellow everywhere. Let the fun begin. Yeah? What would a load-in be without okay. some confusing instructions? Instructions. What? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm going to be the foreman. <laughs> this is what it needs to look like when it's completed. So that's good. <laughs> Was there anything left in that socks? Two of those. Are they the right size for the holes in the corner brackets? Look at this. A little couple of custom details here. Like, this is what makes all the difference. So $6.99 twill. This is a shower curtain that was on sale. A shower on. curtain. You yeah. just turned the shower curtain into the border? Yeah, we cut pieces of the shower curtain. Such a good idea. Isn't that nice? And it's so nice with just a little border to give it some weight. When you're decorating country bedrooms, and especially country guest rooms, you don't want to spend the earth. So we wanted to try and find really achievable solutions. So what happens? On to tricky assembly number two. Because you meet baby, we're gonna set this up. Alright. <laughs> She's working hard. Okay. This is how many designers does it take to assemble a bunk bed? Hey, how's this for teamwork, huh? I hate to say it, but whoever said that the boards went the other way was right. Out they come, and we flip them around. That, my love, is a bank bed. I now have a better appreciation of why kids don't make their beds. <laughs> Especially the near bunk. impossible to make. Bedrooms turned out great. The master bedroom is quite a good size, and we knew we'd be a bit tight for space, but I was determined to have three other bedrooms. And I thought, really, as long as a bed fit in and a night table and, you know, maybe hooks on the wall, then that would be perfect. We refer to them by color, and we have the yellow room, the green room, and the blue room. Defining a color palette for each room allowed us to create an entirely different feel, as did great salvage pieces like those doors I found at Roy's. We wanted them to look... Uh, suitable for a country home, but also be very, very easy uh, with just sort of quilts and, you know, nothing to worry about, no, nothing fussy. It's a great piece. We wanted each bathroom to feel different, so whether it was the master bath with two classically traditional pedestal sinks or the guest bath, which is covered in tile, each one had to be practical, yet have its own, um, it really had to have its own look. Is it all right if I pull your tags off your pillows? We're not going to go to jail for that? No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's live on the edge. Okay. Just think how many beds we've all made together this year, girls. Aww. This could be nice in the main room. A little bit of color instead. Yeah. It's really made to make every single member of the family feel special and welcome whenever they're here. I love the colors. Um, I wanted something totally different than what I've had in the past. Um, so I wanted a different look and a different feel. And I feel that I got that. It's very casual, but I think it's, it's exactly what I had pictured again.